I'm selfish, I am flawed, but I can love. And so I wear this smile fit for the place above. You know me, the truth gets heavier every night. I promise I'll be the one if you help me win this fight. chicken in the crock pot for dinner later and I decided well I don't have much choice we're gonna work on some baby shower stuff I have in my head a vision for little like hot cocoa gifts as one of the baby shower game options prizes you know what I'm saying um, and I bought these from or coal not Coles what's that place called Marshall's and I like that they match I do have a purple one upstairs but we might still use it um, to make like an extra. I just, I don't know. I've like hit on these and they feel thicker than most of these little glass cups are. I'm pretty sure the purple one is not this thick. But I wanted to give it a go and see how these are. I might go ahead and make the purple one. I probably will. So that I just have extras. Like if we are playing a game and there's two winners. I don't like to have to make them choose. So this way, you know, we don't have to choose. They both can win if I have extras. If not, we'll just do the cheesy thing. But yeah, these are really good. Um, I've got my my goods down here. I got all the things that I have to put into them. Um, I got some regular hot cocoa. And then I grabbed this peppermint because I have these peppermint stir sticks. If I can figure out how to get them out here. When I bought these for the cocoa bar, I ended up saving some of them for the baby shower. 
That's where the idea come from. But I had these peppermint stir sticks and I've seen this at Kroger. So I went ahead and grabbed it because I thought that would be fun, you know, to use the hot chocolate, the peppermint cocoa with the peppermint stir stick. Sounded fun to me anyways. And then we have salted caramel ones as well as just some chocolate with mini marshmallows on it. So we got those and then I've seen these and thought they was cute. Just little love note marshmallows and I thought they would be really cute in it. So we also have those and then I grabbed some of the purple paper for the bottom. I have pink too, but I think I'm gonna use the purple. And then I thought to get the marshmallows to stay, you know, up and visible that I might use some of these little sticks that I have. And I was gonna use kebab sticks, but I couldn't find none. Oh, that's because we used them all for dinner, I forgot. But I have these red and white, whatever this is, paper straws that I can use to tape the marshmallows to if I need to. So we're gonna figure it out. I figured I'd just share it with you just for funsies. My battery's going dead. Um, so I'm gonna change my battery, probably go ahead and go up and get that purple cup, and then we'll figure this out together. Okay, so I went up and got the other cup, changed the battery, and I also went ahead and called to confirm my reservation for the baby shower, something I already planned on doing. Um, just because I've never, which I've never called and reserved myself, but we've had things there quite often. Um, but I have never had issues with it. But the way my mind works is Saturday when we was headed there, if I didn't call and make sure, I would be stressing about it the whole time. So figured I'd just give her a call and confirm it. It was, we're good. But I feel better about that. Anyways, I went up and got the cup. And it is much thicker than I remembered it being. I don't know if you can see how thick it is. Um, but we bought some at Walmart, these pretty colored cups like this. And they are not thick at all. We only have one left, but it's almost like paperish. So, I don't know. I just figured that this was the same way. So, we got one of the purple here. I got this at Five Below ages ago. And then we got two of these like green color ones. And I thought they would be cute for the baby shower. Now, I just got to figure out how to make my vision come to life with it. So, the fun part is just playing around and figuring things out, I guess. the 
pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby Okay, so here is what we come up with. I think they look okay. I'm going to send them to my niece that's hosting the birth, the baby shower with me. I'm sure she'll just, she'll like them. Because I think even if she did it, she would just be nice and tell me she did. But I'm going to send them to her. I like to keep her in the loop with stuff. So I'm going to send them to her. And then, yeah, we'll figure out how I'm going to... I thought about doing everything in cellophane wrap and just having the prizes out. You know, you win, you get to go over and pick one out. I'm not sure if we'll do it that way or if we'll do them like, or you can't see, you just have to pick a bag. I might ask my niece and see what she says and just go with her answer. I like her to be a part of it. Um, so, I don't know. I'm not mad about them. I think they're cute. So, they'll work. If anybody, I mean, if we do the cellophane and nobody wants them, well, I'll just bring them home. I'll give one to my niece and keep them and <laughs> enjoy them. So I think they're super cute and they're good enough. I overthink things like really bad. Got some baby shower stuff done. I'm going to go ahead and get dinner started so that um, it can be done and we're ready to eat. Cutting off my head. Um, we are going to have like uh, chicken pot pie, but it's with biscuit edition i don't know just something that i thought would sound good so we're gonna do it um i bought one of these vegetable choppers i've been wanting one forever every time i see it i think about the sandwiches that marina makes all the time that this would be really good for that but i figured i would use it to make these um to do the carrots we're only going to do carrots and a little bit of onion in it because Wendy, Wendy's not a fan of most vegetables. Onion, because you need onion for flavor, but she don't really care for many vegetables, but she does like carrots, and we have fresh carrots, so we're going to do that. Now, she does like um, peas as well, but we don't have any. Does she like peas? Yes, she likes peas. I'm trying to decide which, how I want them cooked. I think we're going to go with this one. I gotta get the carrots. Maybe we can do it from this angle. Switch her out with this one. I think it shows my age how excited I get over new kitchen gadgets, but it is what it is.
Okay, so while we let the carrots get tender, I'm gonna go ahead and get the biscuits made. And this is where we're gonna change it up and make it even better. We're gonna do like homemade Cheddar Bay biscuits, sort of, as the topping. That's the oh, carrot. Oh, nice, the insides without the rest of them. Yep. And I found a can of peas, so I'm gonna put it in it, but since they're already soft, I'm gonna add them last minute. Yep. But. That doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? Like huh? Yeah, they're still pretty hard, which I haven't been. Yeah, and I hadn't, I forgot to turn it up high as I planned. Yeah, but also I like the carrots and chicken papas not being absolutely mush. Right? Yeah, I didn't want That's mush. Okay. I didn't want mush mush, but I didn't want, I don't want them to have crunch either. Because that kind of grosses me out. at me I don't know what happened guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them but we got tired there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you only wish that I knew how to go on absolutely delicious so so good um, using the fresh ingredients I mean granted the peas was canned but using the fresh carrots and the freshly shredded chicken delicious so thank you guys for watching we'll see you all next time as always remember to show grace be content and live blessed bye friends